name is Mariama. People know me as uh, Mama Africa. I'm an African born in the Gambia. I am a freedom fighter, a Pan Africanist, and also an activist, a women freedom fighter, women's rights fighter, also, and the children's rights fighter. I'm a teacher and uh, also an organizer of women. I'm a farmer, a gardener. Uh, I have an organization which we registered already in the Gambia, and this organization is called Center for Learning, Research, and Self-Improvement. The center is at Old Window. We have a place we rent from a brother who is also a member to this center, from Paul Happy, who is also a police officer uh, uh, with um, a higher rank. We organize ourselves among ourselves what we discuss and our topics and the aims and objectives of this organization is to educate ourselves and educate our communities on what we can do for ourselves and also for our children and for the future. What we can do for Ghana and what we can do for Africa and for our children. Our activities are we plan to do family study and also build a school where we can educate the children whose parents don't have means to educate their children. We want to educate our children Africanism that is to respect themselves first, to know where they come from and their culture the history and uh, where they belong to. That they belong to the African community, the African society, and they are Africans that they should not take no intimidation and they should not feel inferior in any situation that they are super people, they are wonderful people, they are blacks and they are strong. And we want them to have this self-esteem in themselves that they can make it in life with Europe and America or without Europe and America. Yes. We can make it in our own communities, in our own country. Yes, I will not them I will not tell them not to travel. I want them to travel, to expand and know and have experience in all kind of systems and lifestyles and ways of how people live. It is an experience what we are looking for. And together when we look for experience and experienced people together, we can make an impact in our African community. African women are not superfluous. African women are not poor, but we are traumatized. We are oppressed. We are not so the way at the beginning where we should start. When we fail from the beginning, that is where we just keep moving around the circle and we accepting to be a slave. First of all, they make us feel as our religion in the Gambia, I belong to the Muslim religion. They taught us like when you are a Muslim woman, you have to bow down to your husband. We have to accept anything that the that husband tells us or what the Islam is against us to know. I was talking to um, an Arab woman when I traveled to Dubai. What she told me is the same oddness that they tell them to cover themselves with because they are not And uh, they are not allowed to do certain things because Islam forbidden it. Wow. When I came home to the Gambia, most of the women who have been who have, who have, been, oppressed, who have been oppressed by our religion, some are oppressed by our system, some are oppressed by our own men. I'll try to put them together to discuss with them. And also some who are already in distress. Maybe by the law or by politics. Most of them have something a hidden going in their system that they don't want to talk about. So they are somehow suffering from that. This is beautiful. Are you do you have a contact number? Like if someone wanted to get in touch with your organization oh, to get services? I get a contact number. You can have a plus zero zero two two zero seven six seven four five five nine. And your and your name again? My name is Mariama Sisi. Mariama Sisi. I am the chairwoman 
of the Center for Learning, Research, and Self-Improvement. Okay, I, we're going to wrap up here because this sister, this beautiful queen, we were walking on a back road and she pulled up and was like, sisters, let me give you a ride. And we end up in the car with her. When I tell you the ancestors push us together, okay, because we didn't know we was taking this back road and she came like an angel to give us a ride to go get some local food. So we gotta say thank you and I'm highlighting this sister today to let you all know these are the queens of the Gambia and we are so proud to be associated with them. Thank you. We're proud to meet you too. Thank you.